So this assist, are you okay? You look like you were having something going on there. It's way early for I was a little bit worried. No, what I'm doing, honestly, what I'm doing, like all seriousness, it's really hard, you know, to come up. I mean, it's almost like finding a girlfriend or a boyfriend to find her and from at least the way I look at it because a personal assistant is someone that's with you every single second whether it's not physically just virally or on the phone or they have basically every credit card number they have your blood they have everything on you you know you basically they run your life so it's really hard you know to find someone so what I'm doing is I am doing a contest I'm basically Hiring an assistant to help me find an assistant. Is it going to be a reality TV show? It's or gonna, it's yeah, gonna, it's going to be a TV okay. show, but on the on the on the internet. That's going to actually mm -hmm. lead into the promotion of my new uh, Showtime special that airs in August. How, How much is this person going to get paid? Because we have somebody that might be interested. It's probably it depends on who <laughs> it depends on it depends. Why are on, you laughing? Well, it depends on. I mean, it's anywhere from like minimum wage to seven hundred dollars a week. So really? Yeah, okay. it's like kind of like. That it depends on what they've done before, though. It, you know, you kind of have to look at their job salary. You know what I mean? If they're not bringing a lot to the table, then they're not going to probably awesome. make as much. You Brad, know? Li listener Brad would like to make a comment here. Brad, what's your comment? Oh yeah. Yeah, Polly, have you Man. heard that at all? A woman's voice becomes higher pitch when she's around a guy she's attracted to. Shannon's voice. Shannon's, Shannon's married though. She's got a ring right there. Well, no, she's I'm engaged. Not engaged. You she, still have that's time. even worse. Polly. Yes, his butt. Is there a woman well, a in nice, your life? I'm a nice guy, you know. She senses I'm a nice guy, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm a nice guy. Is, so. is there a woman in your life, Polly? <laughs> yes. Your your little intern right there. You like her? Which one? Right here, Chelsea. The, the pink one right there. Yeah. Okay. Chelsea. All right. Very Sweet nice. Chelsea. She seems like she seems like the kind of girl. Like, how old is she? First of all. Uh, Chelsea, how old are you? What are you? I'm twenty. Yeah, twenty, 20 years yeah, old. She's like, she seems like the kind of girl I could take like to a, on a Mexican vacation, like to Cabo. Uh huh. And like we could just have you know margaritas on the beach and like. You know, and just kind of laugh and like get a lot of sun and just kind of have a good time. Chelsea, come on in here. Are you she attracted seems, to Polly? She seems. You'd like you know to. I mean? She seems like the type of girl that you can go on a vacation with. You know what I mean? And just have a good time. And Chelsea, are you attracted to Polly? I'll go to Mexico with him. Yeah, but so, you know what I mean, though. Like just kind of like. She, right. She you hasn't know? had a lot of boyfriends. I'll tell you. Yeah. Paul. Very innocent girl. Oh <laughs> no, but she seems cool. Like she seems like a cool like she could just kind of hang out. She's we would have like a good all, time. Yeah. Not all high maintenance and kind of like. Do you, do you have a girlfriend in your life or no? No. I do you do this often? Do you ever meet girls on the road? Well, no. I mean, Chelsea, she's adorable. She was sweet to us. We, <laughs> we had kind of chemistry walking in. Right? We did. I sense it. Yeah, I do. So. I do. I, although I do sense it with Shannon too. If I, I think if you offered Shannon a trip, Shannon might go Shannon, with you, you too. Want to come to Cabo with us? Sure. We're as going. long as Chelsea comes. I mean, yeah. why not? You know. Yeah. How about both of them going to Cabo with you? I think it would be fun. How about Spike and I? Can what you bring us to Cabo too? Sandy Danto, can he come? Um, I guess so. I'll carry your bags like I do all the way on the road. Alright, sounds He's good. He's a little hairier than the usual guy right. she likes. <laughs> Polly, do you meet girls on the road a lot? Not like I used to. Okay. But, like when I was when I was in my twenties it was you know, it was more like, oh, I'm gonna meet girls on the road. Now it's kind of like Now you know. now you meet girls on the road. You, you used to back then you probably met them for sex. Now you meet them, you want them for for well, a conversation, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to go hang out. I emailed my friend Paul Rosenberg. Didn't I talk to you about him last time? Paul, absolutely. Yeah. He's, does he have? Yeah. I'm gonna talk about those girls and road things. My wife was one of those girls. Your, sure. your wife went with Paul. Well, the story she tells. It's like six I degrees agree. of Polly. I know the story she tells. You know, this is. Back you never in had. I never had sex with your no, wife. No, no, I don't think. Off. Well, she didn't told me you, you didn't. No. But it was back in the '90s when you would always host MTV Spring Break, mm -hmm. and she said. The way she tells us, Paulie was trying to get us back to his room. Now, I'm sure it might also be we were trying to go had, back I to Paulie's room. I had Kool-Aid, probably. Did you <laughs> Did you have sex with Spike's wife? I don't I, I don't know what she looks like, but I, I assume I didn't. Definitely no. sounds like he had sex with your wife. Uh, I, I think <laughs> his, his denial speaks volumes. Like, Hold on a second. Uh, our intern over here, uh, somebody's on the phone here. Who is this? This is oh. Chelsea's mom, would you approve of your daughter Chelsea going to Cabo with Polly Shore? Mom? 
No, um, I... don't be calling up the radio station. Turn this off. <laughs> what? Wait, what? But I don't understand but why. This is actually, it's probably a good thing because, at least with me, I'm not some guy that's going to, like, be all, like, possessive and, like, be all weird with her and stuff. Like, we're just going to have a good time, you know? We'll play volleyball on the beach. Mom? <laughs> okay. All right, we'll send you the clip of me and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, I can't. I'm Chelsea, anything you want to say to your mom before I hang up on? Um, stop listening. <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> That's okay, Mom. I, be very protective. I would be very protective, too. Not that I don't trust Ch Pauly Shore, but I really don't trust Pauly Shore. I don't know. Benji, what do you think? Um, he'll, he'll return your daughter home safely. In a bag? No. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be, we're going to celebrate down at, when's your birthday? September 16th. September 16th, that's coming Your daughter's up. very mature, and she's at least twice the age of most of Polly's girls. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, Mom, we'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, Mom. Hey, Polly Shore is going to be tonight at 8 o'clock at Andiamo, Novi Theater. You can get tickets at 248-348-4448. You want to give away a couple? AndiamoNovitheater.com. You know what? Text uh, text message yeah. for that uh, if you want to win. 95500, text Polly. Text Polly to 95500. We'll give you tickets. Follow me on Twitter too, Polly M. Shore. How many Twitter followers do you have? Uh, not enough. You need to see any more. So, Polly, I'm sure. Twenty thousand. Are you the official Polly? I'm sure, or are you the I'm unofficial? I'm the official Polly. I'm sure. Um, but I just talked to the girl that that took my name, Polly Shore, recently. We right? we talked to her on the phone, did, Sandy. Did you ask her if Sandy, you can have your did, name back? Right? She's she's extorting him. Oh, for the really? Name. How much money does she want for the uh, the name? Now she, we talked she, to her. She just wants him to take her out on a date. Oh. And film it for an MTV <laughs> pilot. Oh. oh she, yeah. Her real name's Emily Bright. Oh. And she said her and her girlfriends took a whole bunch of celebrities' names. What would Morgan Freeman? When Twitter Freeman. first came out, okay. yeah, they Morgan all Freeman, took a bunch of up? celebrity names. Uh, <laughs> Morgan Freeman and Polly Shore. Wow. Uh, <laughs> hey, okay. that's an honor. That's an honor. <laughs> Sounds like a road movie to me. Will you be seeing Paul Rosenberg, uh, Eminem's uh, manager? Um, no, I'm just on email with him. He's in New York right now. Okay. The new album just came out, right? Yeah. Yes. Can we can we go to it? Hot Meets Evil. Yeah. We. Well, I'm not gonna play it now. I already played it. Are you guys playing it a lot? Lots. Oh wow. A lot. Do you have a copy for me? We'll get you a copy. An extra copy. Yeah. On iTunes. Since Paul, he... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. I got a break. We'll be right back Perfect. with with more Mojo in the morning next.